He's not sliach in business, that's why. And how foolish are we to take an attitude that we can take these things for granted? It's a door that's getting older. The new door has to stand on their own feet. Can we say that our door is Kedai, that we should have successful businesses? Could we say that? We have to take the attitude of Ain Ani Kedai. Rabbi Sai, take that attitude today. Because inevitably you will take the attitude of Ani Kedai. You know when? We're going to come up to Shamayim and they're going to tell us, Rabbi Yid, how come you didn't learn more? They'll say, Me? Why didn't you quit your business to learn all day? Me? I'm not the type to learn all day. I ain't any to die. I'm not until the push the years. They're going to say, Rabbi Yid, why didn't you have Kavana and Davening? Me? Kavana? Look, I'm like most years. Rabbi Yid, why didn't you get involved in Tzedakah? Everyone's going to be an honest, right? I left it to more capable people than me. I'm not so capable. Let the Sadaka people more capable. Suddenly, everyone's going to say, Enani Kedai. So, Rabbi Nishloi, I'm only my I'm Adin. He's going to say, yeah, you didn't get involved in Sadaka. Why? You're not so capable as them. They're going to take out the tape recorder. How come you criticize the people who run your Sunday Shiva? You're not as capable as them. How can you buy that them? Why don't you quit your job and learn all day? Any could die. So how come a rough set of stock and you said, ah, this is an Irish guy. You took such an attitude. Suddenly today you're going to say, any could die. You say, you can't have Kavana and Davin, you know. So why don't you dive in the seaboard that it should help you, Kavana? The attitude of any could die. Inevitably, each of us is going to try in court to make that excuse work. And if we want it to work, we at least have to have that attitude here. An attitude of Ein Ani Kedai. David HaMelech, Shimi Ben Geras, who murdered him. He was running away from Yerushalayim under the most unfortunate of circumstances. His son has rebelled against him. How depressed, how oppressed he must have felt. And here he is, he's running away, and Shimi ben Geira, the Shashul, takes mud and throws it at him. And you know what it means to claw on the Mleset? In front of all the, it was a band of people stayed loyal to David. And in front of them he says, Shimi ben Geira, Talmud Kochim says, you deserve it. You are the violation official like you did in your right sayach. He called him the worst names in the book. And David said, Hashem Omar Lai Kaleo, Hanicha Lai, leave him alone. Hashem Omar Lai Kaleo, Chazal say that in the entire life of David, that was his greatest moment. But I say Shah, he was like to be one of the four Amudim of the Kitei HaKavit. That was his greatest moment. We should be Zaycha to work on ourselves. That when someone throws mud at us, whether physical or verbal mud, we should be able to take an attitude of Hashem Omar Loi Kaleo. That Hashem said Kaleo, Ein Ani Kedai, Halavai. Take it with you, work on it. It'll help in Bein Adam Lachaveirai, it'll help in Bein Adam Lamakai, and it will help as far as our own feelings are also, it will help. One last Nakuda to leave you with a mil- not sure it's a Nusa the Bidisha, sir. There's a kasha, I mentioned the Machlaikis, when we make a bracha on Nisim. So the Mepharsh and Abu Dram, Arishan, ask, how could you only, only make a bracha on a Nes, on a Nes Galoi? But on Purim, we say Shasa Nisim. Purim, we all know, is a Nes Shema in Nes Galoi. So how do we make a bracha on Purim? So I heard two nights to Ruth, and one said, come out in Abu Dram. Dabu Dram says, you know, there was a nest goli in Purim. You know what it was? <coughs> that Achashverosh should listen to his wife's atheist. That was a nest goli. Dabu Dram. I mentioned this to my wife over Shabbos. She told me she heard a terrorist. That it's a nest goli. If anybody has a McCarthy, I'd be very curious. That there was a nest goli. The nest goli was Esther 
Lohigida. Here, Esther Lohigida. <laughs>